So as you are probably aware, with the effect from 1 July 2021, the uh, Protection of Personal Information Act, sometimes referred to as POPI or PAPAYA, um, comes into full force and effect. Um, it's in effect from uh, July of 2020, but um, companies and individuals have a year grace period with which to comply, um, and that ends in uh, July 2021. So from that date, um, all companies are going to have to make sure that they are fully compliant with, with the Act. Um, and there are many, many um, actions, processes um, that, that companies should be going through at this stage uh, in order to make sure that they are um, what's being called poppy compliant um, to meet the requirements of the Act um, from that date. So the, the, the idea behind um, poppy is, is really to facilitate the, the free flow of, of data and personal identifiable information. Um, as we're all aware, there's a proliferation of data um, and the movement of data throughout the world, um, cloud-based storage, etc., cetera, is, is, is commonplace. So the idea is to have law that will actually protect that information and enable it to, to flow. So as a, rather than kind of like restricting the flow of information, the, the kind of ideological uh, philosophy behind Poppy is to enable the free flow of personal identifiable information but within a legal framework so that information is only used for the purpose for which it's intended um, and that it's proper, properly stored um, and protected by people who are the custodians of it. So that's the basic principle um, and, and philosophy behind the Act. Um, it's also part of international trade law and regulation. If you're dealing with other countries, you want to know that when you're sharing information across borders, that they're going to have similar measures in place to protect the personal information that, that we have in South Africa or in the EU or in America. I think one of the important things to understand with regard to the, the application of, of um, the protection of personal information is that it, it's dealing with personal information and it's personal identifiable information. So it's information that will link the identity of a person to certain other facts. So for example, my name, my address, my ID number, my bank account, etc. That's all information that, that identifies with me. Um, and it's that information in, in respect of which there's an obligation to protect. So for example, if, if you are um, disaggregating information, de-identifying information, using information for statistical purposes, where it's not actually linked to an individual with, 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 with names, numbers that can be identified back to that person, then the Act won't apply to that aggregated data or, or de-identified data. Um, so in work, in dealing with that information, I think it's really important for, for businesses to understand what information they're holding, whether it is personally identifiable, and then why they're holding it. Um, I think in, in years gone by, because of the proliferation of data, people have collected a lot of information on everything. Um, and, and I think Poppy now raises the question as to what information do we hold and why? Um, and if it's not necessary to hold information on a specific person that, that, that is related to their identity, then just don't gain that information or cull the information that you do have.